Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, or I should say in this series of videos, we're going to model an alligator. And this is called organic modeling. Uh, we're going to model this alligator using just one simple box to model the entire body. Uh, and we're going to preview this in smooth preview. Just like this. Again, this is organic modeling. And we're going to model this alligator in this series of videos. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. The first thing I need to do is create a new project folder. I'm going to go to File, Project Window, click New, call this Alligator, save it on the desktop, and hit Accept. Uh, and what I need to do next. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to save the reference image. Go ahead and put it in the source images folder. It's in there so that when uh, we need it in Maya, it would know where it is. So back in Maya, I'd like to go ahead and place that reference image in my side view. So go to the side view, click space bar. In the side view, go to the view menu in the viewport. Go to Image Plane, Import Image. Uh, it goes straight to the Source Images folder in our Alligator project, and there it is. Go ahead and uh, hit Open, and there it is. I'm going to hit F to zoom in, and while I have it selected, I can adjust the Alpha Gain, which is the opacity for this image. I'm going to adjust it to about 1.5, I mean 0.15, and then I'm going to hit W to move. And I'm going to move it up until I see that uh, tail right on the floor. And there's my side view. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the top view because we've got the top view as well. In the top view, go to the view menu, image plane, import image, select the exact same reference image, hit open. I am going to adjust the alpha gain, the opacity of that image to 0.15. There it is. Hit F to zoom in. And now I am going to center the top view in the center. But we do have a problem here because the side image is correct. Uh, and this will be the front. And then so we need to rotate this top view so that it's facing down into the front. And then this is the side. So we just have to rotate this image. I'm going to hit E to rotate. And I'm going to click on the uh, Z rotation so we can rotate it this way. Undo. But I'm going to hold down the J key. Just click on the J key and hold it down. And then that will constrain it to every 15 degrees. Being a lot easier to just rotate it 90 degrees. And now I'm going to move it in the Z to where it's right on the center right there right in the center of the alligator in fact um, I'm gonna move so that I can see the center the center line of that alligator hit my center right there not dead center the only other way that we can maybe um, align these two images is to put a an object here the size of this alligator so let's go ahead and do that uh, before I do that though, if you notice here in the perspective view, both images, both images are in the center as they should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the side view back in the Z and I'm going to push the top view down in the Y so that we have the center open so that we can model the alligator in the center and it really doesn't affect these two views because these two views are orthographic that means that if you keep your eye on the top view as as much up and down as I see it it doesn't affect the top view again it's orthographic and it does not have perspective so in the perspective view I'm gonna model just a cube and I'm going to make it as big as this side view. So I'm going to put it to there. 
just raise it up and then I'm going to turn on x-ray which is right here that's the two little white boxes that are overlapping that's the x-ray view and there we go we can see we can see through the object and we can see our reference image so I like to go ahead and hit R to scale and I'm gonna scale in the Z back and forth all the way to there now that I can see my image is not centered because I can see the tip of the nose coming out of the box and I can see the tip of the tail not touching the box so what I'm gonna do is select the image hit W to move and then let me uh, go ahead and turn on wireframe on preview so that we can see the wireframe of this box and then I'm wanting to just move the image back a little bit to there where that nose is touching the end and the tail is touching the end so that box is exactly the same size as the alligator and with that done I can now adjust this image see how it's completely off I'm going to turn on x-ray view and turn on uh, wireframe on shaded it's the one two three fourth icon here in the preview I'm going to select the image and then move it back till that nose is just touching the end when I move my scene it should be that the tail is also touching the end of the box and so by having this box here guys what happened is I'm going to hit F F F F well, by having this box I was able to align the image to the box centering it because the box is centered I centered the image this way along the Z and then I centered the image this way now it's centered and now I can say that this box is centered my image is centered here the side image and the top image in the Z and now we can start modeling in the next video I am going to, we're going to start modeling we're going to model the, the entire body Hey guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.